What's up guys, it's Jake, and today I have a tutorial on uh, the group manager that is made by uh, the people who made Essentials. Um, so basically you just want to download this group manager uh, right under Essentials, and then I would recommend Essentials Core 2 if you're using group manager. Uh, so once you download that, move it into your plugins directory in your server. As you see I have mine right here. Uh, let me start this up. Let it all load, all that stuff. And then we can get right into it. Um, I have to make this over this video over because uh, my other one I made it like messed up and it didn't record half the stuff I showed. <laughs> so it's just I hit stop. There we go. Okay, so let's go with plugins. Uh, I'm not gonna really show you essentials. I'll do that for another video. Uh, but group manager. So let's start with just global groups, I guess. Um, because it's really not in any order. Okay, these. Let me close off of this. Okay, these are basically global groups that people p would get, and uh, the way you'd put these in, you'd put them, you put them under the uh, inheritance. So you'd put G colon group manager underscore moderator. Moderator. Uh, moderator. Uh, if you wanted to, um, if you want to make a new one, you basically just follow the steps. So I can just copy one, and I'll do it real quick. So let's name it uh, Chop Tree, say. Um, let's name, let's give them the permission to do tree chop dot chop. I don't know. And then uh, let's just delete this line. We don't need it. And then let's do, uh, I don't know, cut dot tree. I don't know. So. Basically those, and then in order to get this group, I would just copy this and paste it uh, where I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, now the config. I know I'm going through this fast, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't. I just don't want this video to be like super duper long. Um. Okay, what this is, is the op override is uh, when it used to be when you were op and say you were uh, admin, you couldn't promote yourself to something higher than admin. So say like... Uh, like super admin or or a senior admin or something like that. I don't know whatever you would have on your server. Uh, and that's basically this basically says if they're an op, do you allow them? Do you want them to be able to promote themselves to whatever group they want? And then if you want to hit true or type true, if not, uh, change it to false. Now don't worry about this. Just leave it to true. The validate underscore toggle. Just leave that. Just don't mess with that. Uh, now the data, save how often you want to save a backup of the users that YML or YML, and this is uh, good for like crashes, server crashes. It will keep a version if it crashes or something. So I usually put that to like 10 minutes, and then number of hours uh, to retain backups. Uh, so just when it puts it in, uh, I usually put like 15 or something. Um. And just leave a little detail. Okay. This is basically just what kind of uh, what kind of info it wants it to log. Um, I just leave it to normal. You can mess with that, or you can put it to all. It just depends what you like. Uh, now this is kind of confusing for most people. Um, so just pay attention right now because this is the most confusing part for most of you guys. Um, besides the actually making of a crew. But basically what this is, is, uh, this is saying that this is a parent, and these are the child uh, worlds. So, the parent world is called world, and whatever permissions uh, the parent world has, these child worlds will have. So, uh, basically that's, that's how I can explain it. If you don't get it, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a new one down here. To show you, if you need help, just ask me. So, say you're doing a world that's going to be multi multi world, and it's going to say be like creative survival, something like that. So, let's make a world called uh, Main World. So, I'll be the name of your fuck. Main, name of your world. Let's just do uh, the inheritance, or that's the parent of, say, 
Survival. Survival. Okay, I spelled that right. Um, and then you want to do the uh, users. Sorry, I've just got to go all the way back. And then you want to be groups. Uh, so let me just copy this so I don't have to do all that again. Uh, copy the. Oops. I just copied this, didn't I? There we go. Okay, so let's get rid of main world. Uh, and say the other world is called PvP or something. I don't know. And basically it's saying that all the permissions that this main world will have, uh, these two worlds will have. So you can keep that. Um, I'm not gonna just because I don't have those worlds. Now what I would like you to do, or what's really useful, copy uh, control A, control C, copy the whole thing, or right click, uh, select all and copy, and go into this uh, parser I have in the description and paste it in. Now basically what this will do is it will show you if you have your... Uh, Thing right if it's wrong it'll show up with an error you'll obviously be able to detect it so let me just remove one of these there you go there's an error so I'll just put that back in and the error is gone oh so that's basically it let me save it uh, let's go back here oh. sorry I'm tired uh, but backup the backup will be basically uh, where all the backups are stored now if you go into worlds, this is where if you had more more worlds, it would be, so if you had like the main world, it would be here, survival, stuff like that. So if you open up this world file, you go into groups, and you see you get all this stuff. Now you can keep it, what I like to do is just delete it, except for the first one, because that's just how I like to do things. Now this is what I was talking about earlier, with the inheritance, you'd put that group there. Uh, if you'd want it, I don't usually keep those, just because I like to customize it to the full extent I can do. Okay, so the groups, it's basically saying that it, the, the group name is default. Uh, now, default, uh, true, that means when they when a player first joins the server, should that be the group, or shouldn't it? So, I put it to true. Um, and I'll give them the command, this is where you'd put permissions. And you can find them on like the wherever they uh, on the web page where you got the plugin from. So let's say I believe it's bucket dot command dot op dot give and then inheritance. You don't really need to worry about that. Prefix, let's just keep that and give them Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that, but let's just give them guest, I don't know. Even though that's not the right name. And if you want them to build or not, you do need Essentials Protect for that though. So then let me just copy this. Now let's name it to say Owner. Uh, default, false. You don't want everybody to be an owner. Uh, permissions. Now I'll leave that one. Enter. Now say you want them to have all permissions, you put uh, one of those dot things right by the enter and the star, another one of those things. And say you want to take away a certain command from somebody, uh, you're going to put dash, space, dash, uh, and then say the command so essentials dot nuke. Now inheritance, uh, we want them to inherit the guest or default. So they inherit the default. The prefix will be owner. And then true. And I'll keep, I'll keep, uh, I'll put a list for all the color codes in the description. So basically what this is saying is I have two groups right now. Um, I have owner and I have uh, default. So I mean you could separate these and put uh, just like this because this is not even reading the code. You could put this right above, say, default, says the default group if you wanted to. But, uh, I wouldn't. Or you can do it if you want, but I, I don't really need to. Um, so basically we just made two groups, owner and default, and we gave the default group the, permis the permission to give, uh, an operator to give op. 
and then we gave the owner the permission to do everything. So let's exit out of that. Now I'm going to start the server. Then I'll be right back because I gotta load my Minecraft. Uh, otherwise it will cut over. So let's start the server. Make sure everything loads correctly. And let's see what I got. I got an error. This is this is why um I gave you that YML parser. Okay, it's obviously group manager. So we go in the file I just opened. World error log. Global groups. Okay, so let's go to global groups and is there a problem with this? Oh, probably just because there's these. Yeah, there's these right in the middle of it. Um, which that doesn't really matter, but I believe that's what. Otherwise, I do know what it is. It's not that. So let's just start it up again. You're bound to get errors. <laughs> I got errors when I was doing a tutorial on it, meaning either I really suck at it, which I don't, or uh, you're bound to get errors. So that was the problem right there. I just fixed it. Um, but I could have simply avoided that error if I copied it and put it in the parser, but I didn't. So I'll be right back when I load my Minecraft up. Okay, I'm back. Now uh, I have my server loaded. Go to multiplayer, direct connect, and local host. Okay, so I spawn in this world. Let's see, do I get lucky? Is there a mob spawner right down here? Nope. Okay, so basically I should be the default group. So hello. So I'm a guest. It says I'm guest. Uh, but my name is red because uh, I'm an operator. What's this over here? Um, so... Yeah, so if you want to, uh, let's say, make myself owner to see if that works. Menu add uh, mag uh, magic man uh, owner. There you go. Now let me see if I can do that nuke command. Slash nuke. It says me death rain upon you. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, So you might not want to do that. Uh, but basically everything's working how I uh, set it up, so that's good. Um, I think it's over here. I want to see the damage that it did. Uh, if you have, if it will not, I believe it doesn't blow up the terrain. I mean, it blows it up for a second, but I believe it regenerates it kind of. Or it just puts it back to, yeah, like, see, it didn't really do anything. So I die. Let me just do that nuke thing again. I'll show you. Slash nuke. May death rain upon you. See, it kind of doesn't even do anything. So yeah. Um, but if then you can type like slash help to see all the commands. Uh, which basically I just have group manager and essentials, and that's only 17 pages. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much the tutorial. I, my groups are working. Uh, all my prefixes were, are working. Um, I will show you a way later if you would like. I could do it uh, like my next video. Uh, but I can show you a way how you could customize this even more uh, with the owner. So you could get rid of these, say, and you could make it so you would have a custom name for the owner. Or you could have a custom name for a certain admin or something. Uh, so that might be next tour, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm going to thank you right now, and I'm going to thank you for watching. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, thanks for watching my videos, and I will see you guys later.